If there is one aspect of the new features of Fireworks CS6 that I just adore, it is the creation of CSS sprites. It makes it dead simple to create them. And that's what we're going to do in this little quick look. Now I've got a series of icons that I've opened up here. These are all from the common library. And to create a CSS sprite sheet is, as I said, dead simple. What you do is you just hold down the shift key, select the sprites that you want to go on the sprite sheet. These are graphics. Right click. And then first thing you need, you got to have a slice. These have all got to have slices. So you just insert a rectangular slice. It tells you there are multiple items selected, so we'll just slice up the multiple items. And by the way, if you have uh, a background or text and you select that, that will be included in slices as well. So what I'm doing is just including the icons. Okay, now that I've got them done, you can see that they're all sitting in the web layer. And the problem with the web layer is, is the slices are all improperly named. So I'm just going to give them a quick, quick name. Anchor. hard drive, forward, monitor, whoops, try that again, I gotta learn to spell, monitor, there's the cloud. And of course, a check mark. And now that they're all done, how do we get, the, get this out as a sprite sheet? Well, two ways of doing it, actually. You can uh, just simply right click on any one slice, and you can see right there export CSS sprites. Or if you go to File, Export, it'll actually give you the option here. Now make sure that you choose CSS sprites because sometimes you may wind up with a choice here. Either way, you come to this dialog box. I'm going to save it to the simple sprites folder I've got and I'm going to click on options. Now the options are kind of neat because you get to choose either the, the selector is going to be a class or an ID. You can give it a prefix. So we'll, uh, we'll name it icons. And this will just be a simple prefix that goes in front of the name of the sprite. You can put padding on the uh, sprite, spread them out if you so wish. You can choose your layout, horizontal, vertical, or grid. This is great for uh, horizontal rollover menus. Grid is very compact. And you can also choose whether you want them as Ping32, JPEG, GIF, or even animated GIFs. We're going to go with the Ping32, of course. Click OK. And you can choose selected slices only. No, why bother? And you just simply export. And if we pop over to the folder, you can see there's the simple sprite CSS and there's the ping file. Now if I open it, there it is right there. It's an optimized ping file. You notice it's all been jammed in together. Okay, I'm going to close that. But the other really cool thing is the CSS. So if I open this with uh, Dreamweaver 6, you can see that it gives me the CSS for the sprite sheet, and then there's that little prefix that I put in there. And they're all in there. And you can take these and use them inside your CSS. Okay, I'm going to Close that down and close that down. Now, another uh, way of doing it is rollover. So I'm going to go over to simple. I'm going to go over to, whoops, rollover. And if I go to preview, you can see that if I roll over one of these, they change color except for this one. So what, you, what I'm going to do is show you how to create a button. So I've got the uh, graphic here. So I'm going to come back to the original, select the graphic, right click, convert to symbol. And we'll name that one anchor underscore btn. And we'll make it a button. And then I just double click it. And I come to the properties panel. And you'll notice that it's now inside the button. There's the breadcrumb trail. So I'm going to choose the overstate, what it looks like. Well, there's nothing there. So I'm going to copy the up graphic, select the anchor, and fill it with red, just like the rest of them. 
And then if I come back to page one, click preview, there's the rollovers. So how do I get this out as a sprite sheet? It's the uh, same same process. If I turn on the web layer, you can. Oh, I should go to the original. There we go. You can see that I've got each of these slices named. So what I want to do here is name this one anchor. drive forward monitor cloud and of course check of course it would help if I chose the whole thing There we go. And then all I have to do now is right click on a slice, export CSS sprites. There I am. I'm going to go to my rollover folder here. And I'm going to choose my options. And this time I'm going to make it icons underscore so I know what I'm dealing with. Click OK. Click export. And if I pop over to the folder, you can see there's the rollover. And if I open it up, you can see there are the icons done as, up as a sprite sheet. And if I come back to the CSS and open it in Dreamweaver CS6, you can see that I've got all the CSS I need. And there's that prefix that I put in there so I know what I'm looking at. So there you go. There's the creation of sprite sheets in Fireworks. It's dead simple to do. Just make sure that you've got them sliced and named properly. Then you can either right click and select export CSS sprites or you can use the export menu. If you do use the export menu, make sure that you choose CSS sprites from the pop down. And the really great thing about this is that it will create the sprite sheets not only from individual graphics, but for buttons that have rollovers and downstates and things like that.